If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Regular Expressions for Performance Engineers series. In this series, we are going to learn about regex so that you can write a quick regular expression to correlate. What is regular expression? A regular expression is a pattern matching algorithm which will be used to match character combinations in a string. In a performance testing world, we write regular expressions to extract the dynamic strings from the HTTP responses. I hope you have seen this syntax dot plus question mark within the capturing group. So whatever you write between the open and close parentheses, it is called capturing group. And I have seen people, they just use this across their script. But this series will help everyone so that you can write the optimal regular expression. When it comes to writing the regex, I try to use the testing tools built-in utility. For example, if you take JMeter, we have a regular expression extractor. And to debug, we can use the view results tree. But there are a lot of online utilities available like regex101, regexer, regextester.com, which will display the help and it will explain the syntax and you can do a lot of things with those tools. You can use any tool, but I prefer to use regex101 because of the features. Basically, it will highlight the syntax, it will explain the syntax, etc. But you can use any other tool, even you can use the built-in uh, tools uh, within JMeter or Loadrunner, so it's up to you. So instead of focusing on testing tools, we are going to focus on regex concept. So that is the whole objective of this course. As you know, the common use cases of writing the regex is to extract something. As a performance engineers, we extract the session IDs, tokens, uh, dynamic strings from the response, static text, HTTP status code, or the URL from the HTTP response. And we are going to write the regex for these use cases. And also we are going to see additional use cases, which will be very helpful so that you can write the regex uh, quickly. And when it comes to regex, there are multiple flavors available. PCRE stands for Perl compatible regex. So this regex is used in JMeter. And of course, in Python also, we have the library called regex. And Java has its own library, .NET, Ruby, and of course, there are a lot of uh, other uh, languages have their own implementations. These are the some of the commonly used uh, a subset of the tokens to write the regex. So we are going to use dot, plus, question mark, star, and other syntaxes throughout this uh, series of videos. And we will see how these tokens will fit so that we can write the regex effectively. The approach of this series is, I'm trying to keep this video course tool agnostic. Basically, I'm not going to use tool like JMeter, or Loadrunner or Locust. So I'm going to use the regex or no one to concentrate on the regex concepts. So basically, we are going to parse the HTTP response. We'll start with very simple example, and then we'll go with the advanced uh, examples. And we are going to focus on writing the regex to learn the regex concepts. So let us begin with very simple example. So here, this is the partial text from the HTTP response. And our objective is to extract the title of the web page. So after extracting, you can uh, validate whether the particular string is present or not. If it is present, you can make that request as pass. Otherwise, you can mark that request as fail. So here, to extract the value, example domain, we are going to leverage the left boundary. So here the left side of your string, so that is called left boundary. And whatever there in the right side of the string is the right boundary. And to extract the value between the left and right boundary, we are going to use this syntax dot plus question mark. And we are going to write within the open and close parenthesis so that it is called capturing group. And the dot means it matches any character. Plus means it matches one or more character, the previous character of uh, dot. Dot means any. Plus means one or more. Question mark means optional. So we are going to deep dive into this syntax using the regex 101. Let us start with the simple example. 
So here in the left side, we have example.com. So this is the website we are going to start with. And in the right side, we have the regex 101. So here we are going to write the regex. This is the text box. Uh, we will write the uh, our expression. And uh, just beneath that, we are going to paste the test string. And whenever we start writing, it will display the explanation and you will see the match information here and also we have the quick reference. You can export the regex 101 by yourself. It is self-explanatory. And now I'm going to right click on this example domain. I'm going to view page source. And now I'm going to uh, copy this, the whole response. And I'm going to paste it here. And let me expand this. So this is where we are going to write our regex. So our objective is to extract the example domain. Now let us start typing the uh, regex syntax. So first let us begin with title. So this is our left boundary. And let us uh, write the right boundary. So as you type the right boundary, it is displaying the error stating that an unescaped delimiter must be escaped with a backslash. So we have to escape this special character using the backslash like this so that we don't see any error. Now our objective is to extract this. So whatever we are going to write the regex, it should be within the capturing group. So we have to open and close parenthesis. So whenever you start typing this, you can see it is displaying the first capturing group, which is null. So basically we have not started writing any regex. So now let me type dot here. So whenever you type dot, it is displaying matches any character except for line terminators. So it will not work for the new line. It will work only for the uh, same line. And now we are going to use plus, which means matches the previous token between one and unlimited times. So one character at least and unlimited times. So now if you see it is already captured the value of example domain. So how do you know using this match information? So here the match one is our string and the group one is the extracted string. But you can also write question mark. So whenever you type question mark, it will be optional or uh, lazy basically. But you can remove that, but still your regex is going to work fine. So this syntax, you can use it in your tool to extract the title. So now if the title is say, uh, example domain production uh, environment like this, even though it will identify the whole value. So whatever is there between the title tags, it will extract. But if you have a new line, it will not identify. So how do we extract if the value has new line? We are going to see in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.